Hello everyone, Digfig here, and welcome. In this Borderlands 3 item overview video, we're going to be going over the Quatomizer, a legendary heavy weapon. Now, the red text here says, Dear damn near killed him. Dear near killed him. Well, it's damn, damn near killed him. Now, what is this a reference to? This is a reference to the 1996 movie, Black Sheep. It is a quote where the teacher says, Little Johnny's teacher asked him how his weekend was. Horribly, a car hit my dog in the ass. He said, she said, wrecked him, wrecked him, get it, haha, <laughs> because the rectum, it's funny. Johnny said, damn near killed him. That is the quote, that is what it says on the wiki. If it's from something else, please let us know in the comments, and sorry if I was terrible about reading that. But now, what does it actually do for this gun? Well, this gun shoots four rockets in a horizontal line. Um, they're kind of like a cone, they actually spread out and get farther to fly away. It's not like a flat trajectory horizontal. Um, and it swaps between, what is it? Radiation, corrosive, and incinerary every time you pull the trigger, so it cycles through them, which makes it really hard to match your enemies, and it just doesn't do that good of damage, guys. It's really not that great of a gun. Getting that out of the way now. Um, now, for the way it looks, well, I like torque weapons because they have like an old aircrafty feel, and I'm biased towards aircrafts. But anyways, I think it looks pretty cool, but it does look like all their other torque weapons. Nothing particularly special here. I'm probably moving it too fast all willy-nilly. But this video is going to be a thing. Now, for my personal thoughts and overview of it. Um, it looks cool. Yeah. It does okay damage. But it does not cut it in Mayhem 3 at all. It's barely cutting it versus some of the weakest enemies in the game here. Oh, an interesting thing to drop on true Vault Hunter mode. I have done this place like 6,000 times and I've seen like two legendary drops. Either way, I mean, this is all it does. It cycles through the elements, as you guys can see here. I'm not hitting any buttons. I'm not swapping anything. Um, it shoots through ammo. It can't even one-shot a normal true vault hunter. Okay, well, I say it can't one-shot things, and then it starts one-shotting everything. So, so be it. I have a feeling it's a lot of overkill damage going on there, because... Eh, it happens. So, just to throw that whole opinion out the window, guys, it's just a mediocre rocket launcher. I think it's super underrated compared to the Hive and the Lob, and there's just so many other guns that are much better. Um, every time I say an opinion like that, someone's got something to say about it. So I would absolutely love to know what you like about this, why you use it, um, what difficulty you play on, and what builds you use that makes this thing, like, super viable. Um, I, I think you could use it, but there's just so many better options. Like, why would you choose to use this over something else? Go away, badass skull. Um, it does make it incredibly easy to hit things, as it's just like a giant tidal wave explosion coming out of this thing, flying towards the enemies. But now I'm out of ammo, so what do we do? Yeah, so the family may live. I know what we do. We melee things and get some ammo back because I'm running that for these rocket launcher videos just in case I have to do it like we are here. I'm trying to run this thing through the whole freaking like gauntlet I normally do. Oh, hey, a badass hardened tank. Let's see. What do you got, buddy? See this damage in action. Luckily, there's a little barrel there to help uh, expedite that process of killing him. Boom. Shooting on you. But anyways, guys, my short opinion of this gun is it's not that good. There's way better options. It uses too much ammo. It doesn't do enough damage. Um, in Mayhem 3, a single volley isn't enough to go through someone's uh, either armor, shield, or HP bar. So the whole matching element things is really hard. It's like one wave is perfectly matched, and the next one is off-matched, and you do no damage. And you have to waste like six rounds just to say it's just, it's not there's just way better options in my opinion but i'm open to be proven wrong guys so if you do use this you do like it if i missed anything i'll even remake the whole video if i screw up so just please let me know guys because i would love to be corrected now if you're looking to get one of these things for yourself you're gonna head on over to promethea and he's the vault boss here the forgotten ballista the ravenger he is the one that drops this um i actually had to kill him a lot of times to get this he's not a boss i farm very often but like when i was actually trying to target this it was like 15 to 20 kills on him before he dropped for me it's kind of pain in the ass but anyways guys he's the one that drops it now i really do appreciate all the support and thank you guys for checking out the channel and if you like this video appearing above me here and all around me there should be a whole bunch of videos just like this one and if you like some of those think about liking subscribing commenting hitting the notification button watching all of my content front to back to really help my analytics and just being an awesome member of the community guys and i will see you in the next video dig fig out dude that looks so freaking awesome I know, but it doesn't do anything, man. <clears throat>
Look at how big those waves are. I know it's awesome, but it doesn't do anything.